in our video when we talked about how to know if she's come so I can stop, I know when to stop, we got some replies. And a couple of people said, don't stop, that's awful. So we're going to talk about knowing when to stop. This is Reed Mahalko from readaboutsex.com. And Kathy Bartuli from the intimacydojo.com. How do you know when to stop? <laughs> Somebody says, please stop. Yes. Oh, some of or I have to. St I'm like uh, I have to stop. <laughs> my hand is falling apart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turned into a cramped hook. Of a... <laughs> switch hands. I'm a pirate now. <laughs> <laughs> Which references an earlier video. Um, <laughs> most, a lot of women don't necessarily. Some women want to stop when they have an orgasm, and if I have a really intense one, sometimes I'm just like. It's going to stop for now anyway. Men are like that too. Like, mm -hmm. Too much, too much. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really great to model discussion. Um, and some women are multi-orgasmic or just want to keep enjoying. So there's not, and men too, some men. Mm -hmm. um, so having a discussion with your partner about it is really powerful. What do you generally like? Can you, do you feel comfortable telling me when you want me to stop? You know, there's ways you can set up agreements ahead of time. Yep. It's as simple as that. If you haven't been noticing through most of these videos, it's a lot about com uh, communication, less about mind reading. And a lot of communication about sex happens better when you're not having the sex. Like, have conversations at other times in your relationship, in your dating life, um, with the people that you want to knock boots with. And that you're saying, like, well, here, like, you know, how do you like, you know, to be played with post-orgasm? You know, is are you, are your is your penis really sensitive? Do you like you know like just should I just hold it and hug it? You know, do you want me to just put my hand over your vulva and put gentle pressure? Should I continue? Like, what do you like? And different people like different things. And some people don't even know what they like because no one's ever asked them that question before, so they won't have an answer for you. But you can experiment, which is really fun. Research and development nights. <laughs> and these are the ways that you can stop. Uh, start bringing more curiosity and exploration and not having to all be know-it-alls mm -hmm. all the time into your plane, into your fun. And be open for some people, like people have discoveries yeah. where they're like, oh my goodness, like I like m my penis played with this way after I come or that way, you know, or like, and then you're also practicing talking about stuff. Mm -hmm. So on that day where I don't normally like stimulation on my penis after I've climaxed, uh, oh my god, uh, more, more, keep going, keep going. I have the wherewithal to start talking yeah. about changes I may need while we're having the sex. Very hard for most people to, to learn how to talk about sex while they're having sex. Mm -hmm. That practicing really helps. Good. Leave your comments. How do you like your body to be played with or engaged with after climax? What kind of stimulation or do you just want people to back away slowly? <laughs> below.